East Lansing is getting a new business and starting next month, you can get a Dead Sea mud bath, a moisturizing blueberry facial, a deep conditioning treatment and a blowout for your dogs anyway. This 778 square foot space once home to the Gillespie Group's Midtown leasing office and left vacant for about six months will now be Paw Snickety Pet Salon. Paw Snickety Pet Salon, my mom actually came up with it for me. I am very particular, I'm very picky, I take my time, everything to me has to be perfect, which is sometimes a little bit much, but I'm a paw snickety person, so I wanted a paw snickety pet salon. Uh, we love adding tenants to our buildings that service the community. With the increase of animals that we've been seeing even in our residential units, we know there's a demand out there that people need to groom their pets. A quick Google search found only two other pet groomers in the 48823 zip code. But the Gillespie Group says almost half of its East Lansing and downtown Lansing tenants have at least one pet. And according to the Michigan Department of Agriculture and Rural Development, the number of pets adopted from shelters and rescues in Ingham and Clinton counties grew by about 400 pets from 2020 to 2021. Right now, the issue with dog grooming is like, it's like a nationwide problem all across America, honestly. There is a shortage of groomers. Um, ever since like COVID, all that crazy stuff happened, a lot of groomers had a hard time coming back into work. We knew it was a perfect fit because we've heard it from our residents, interviewing different businesses, community members. Uh, so when a dog groomer approached us, we were super excited and uh, acted on that quickly. The groomer is 24-year-old Melissa Porlick, who has been grooming dogs for six years. Started out just grooming my own dogs. I, I apprenticed under somebody and then I went to grooming school, worked in a few salons, and I really just wanted to do things my own way. The goal is for Paw Snickety to open in early October, though Porlick said she's already booked through the first half of the month. Reporting from your neighborhood in East Lansing, I'm Lauren Shields, Fox 47 News.